here we go. Uh, hello everybody, it's uh, me Bill again. I'm here to read you a story from the Bernstein Bears called Ghost of the Forest. Huh. Ghost of the Forest. I am not a big fan of ghosts, I'll be honest with you, but um, let's see what happens. Hopefully nothing too scary. Here we go. Off go the Bear Scouts to camp out all night. Will an unwelcome ghost visit their site? Oh, I hope not. That would be terrifying. Look out for Papa, said Brother Bear as the Bear Scouts tiptoed down the stair. We won't need Pa, Sister Bear said. Not this trip, agreed Cousin Fred. Huh. I'd take Papa Bear with me, definitely. I see you Scouts are on your way into Great Spooky Forest for an overnight stay. Pa, I hope you'll excuse us, said Brother Bear, but this is a trip we'd rather not share. It's also a trip I'd rather not share. Me sleep with spooks, not on a dare. Yeah, me neither. I would not sleep with spooks. Nope. Spooks, gasped the scouts, not a little afraid. Spooks of all kinds, a nightly parade. A parade of ghosts? Nope. No, thank you. And boss of them all, the ghost of the wood. Call off the trip, scouts. I really and truly think you should. Nonsense, said Mama, who overheard. Spooks, indeed, not another word. Your papa is just trying to give you a scare. So, be off with you, scouts, smiled wise Mama Bear. Yeah, I think he's just trying to trick him. Look at that smile on his face. He's up to something. As the scouts waved goodbye to Mama Bear, Pa sneaked around and climbed the stair. Then up to the attic, to the old rag box. What's Papa up to, the old sly fox? He's up to no good, that's what he's up to. No good. Sly Papa cut three holes in a sheet and turned himself into a ghost with bare feet. Okay, now that's creepy. Leader Jane met the scouts at the edge of the wood. No Papa, she asked. That's very good. Papa gave us a bit of a fright. He said there are spooks and they come out at night. Spooks? That's nonsense. Now let me explain. There are no such things, said Scout Leader Jane. Yep, not real. Nope, definitely not real. So the scouts went to work, setting up camp, raising the tent, filling the lamp, building the fire, getting it lit. Jane took time to explore a bit. She collected some leaves, she studied some seeds, that's when she heard a voice in the weeds. Chuckling and talking to himself in there was, you guessed it, Papa Q Bear. He's gonna try and trick them kids, you watch. This trick will be fun, Papa Bear said, as he pulled the sheet over his head. Hmm, said Jane as she tiptoed away. This is a game that two can play. Then using twigs and leaves as a base, she started to make what looked like a face. Now she's going to trick Papa Bear. Okay, this might get interesting here. The scouts told stories in the firelight. Then they all bedded down for the night. Woo! They heard it just as they started to doze. It frightened those scouts from their heads to their toes. Okay, what's that? What is that noise? Better not be no ghost. It's probably just Papa Bear. Woo! I am the ghost of the forest. They ran to Jane's tent, but Jane wasn't there. Well, what shall we do? Cried Sister Bear. Oh no, you guys better get out of there. You better run. Then a spookier spook came into sight and gave the first ghost a terrible fright. Woo! I am the ghost of the forest. It's, it's Scout Leader Jane scaring Papa Bear. <laughs> Good. And who did Spook 2 turn out to be? Leader Jane, of course. That's when they saw Spook number 3. Woo! Alright, now who's that? As the campers and Paul shivered and shook, 
Sis opened an eye and took a good look. She saw something strange, a yellow hat on a pumpkin head, Paul's red pajamas, and a polka dot dress that looked exactly like Mama's. <gasps> Is it Mama Bear? Just having fun, the voice, it was Mama's. Then her head poked out of Papa's pajamas. Teaching Papa a lesson like this was just too good, a chance to miss. Wow, Papa Bear and then Scout Leader Jane and then Mama Bear. Wow, there's a, there, there's a lot of scaring going on here. It's a double ghost lesson, said Jane with a grin. There are no such things. There never have been. But just as sure as night follows day, it's fun to be scared of them anyway. I don't know about all that. The end. Wow. There was a lot going on there. First Papa Bear tried to scare him, and then Scout Leader Jane scared Papa Bear, and then Mama Bear came out and scared everyone and revealed herself and said there's no such things as scary things like that. I don't know. I hope not. Very scary. Huh. All right, well, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Stuart's other videos. And if you want, check out Bill and Barry's Big Buy and Blow Up Bonanza. Me and Barry sell all kinds of cool stuff on there. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. See ya. Thanks for watching. See you next time.